Alrighty, it's math o'clock here, and I have a couple of fun riddles for you to solve. Let's start with a cheesy one. Here's a circle. How many sides does the circle have? There are two, the inside and the outside. It was Aviana's birthday, and she went to buy herself an ebook she'd been dreaming about. The ebook and the case cost $150 in total. If the ebook was $100 more expensive than the case, how much did each item cost? Alright, let's say the case cost X. Then, the ebook cost X plus 100. Together, they cost $150. So, X, the case, plus X plus 100, the ebook, are equal to 150. Now, solve the equation. 2X is equal to 150 minus 100, or 50. So, 1X is equal to 25. So, the case cost $25 and the ebook cost 125. Well, that adds up. Now, to celebrate her birthday, Aviana wants to go to the movies. She has two friends whom she wants to take with her. A movie ticket costs $8. What is cheaper? Go to the movies with each friend separately or with the two of them together? Of course, it's cheaper to go with the two of them together. If she goes there two times separately with each friend, She'll have to buy a ticket for herself twice, so she'll buy four tickets. Oh. But if they go together, she will only buy three tickets. Yes! Five friends met for the first time in five years. Each one shook hands with each person in the group, but only once. How many handshakes were made? No handshakes were repeated. Let's see it like this. The first friend shook the hands of the four remaining people once. Then the second friend had already shared a handshake with the first person, so they shook hands with three more people. The third friend had shaken hands with the first two, so he shook hands with two more people. And then, finally, friends four and five shook hands too. Four plus three plus two plus one is equal to ten. So there were ten handshakes. Brinley has to sneak into her mom's computer to delete some emails she had accidentally sent her. Ooh. Mom has a poor memory, so she always has notes with her passcodes. Luckily, the note is right on the desk again. What's the passcode? Every number equals the number of circles in it. So the last number is equal to 3. It's a 5-digit number. So try 82193. Danica and Elora are best friends who live in different parts of town but study in the same college. Every morning they leave their houses at the same time and first meet at a cafe to drink some coffee before classes. Danica goes there by car and Elora goes by bike. When they met, which girl was closer to Elora's home? When they meet, they're in the same spot, so no one is closer than the other one. Mrs. Marshall owns a factory that produces office desks. Four workers can build four desks in four hours. If she hires four more people, how many desks will eight workers produce in eight hours? If four workers produce four desks in four hours, it means that each worker produces one desk in four hours. So, eight workers will produce eight desks in four hours, or 16 desks in eight hours. Maya has four pens, a blue one, a black one, a red one, and a green one. They lay on the table in some order. Here are some hints. 1. The green one is somewhere in the middle. 2. The blue one is to the left of the black one and to the right of the red one. Three. The red pen is right next to the blue one. So, what's the order of the pens? Green is somewhere in the middle. Since blue has some other colors on both sides of it, it means it's in the middle too. 
let's decide which one is where. If the green pen is in position 2, then the blue one takes position 3. We know that the blue one is on the left of the black one, so black takes position 4, and red must be in position 1. But it doesn't fit, because the last condition is that the red and blue ones are next to each other. So let's switch the green and blue. Now blue is right next to red, but is still to the left of black. So the right order is red, blue, green, black. Yvonne cuts one baguette into four pieces in 12 seconds. How much time will she need to cut the same baguette into eight pieces? Twenty-eight seconds. To cut a baguette into four pieces, she must make three cuts. If it takes her 12 seconds to make three cuts, it means that she makes one cut in four seconds. So if she now wants to cut it into eight pieces, she needs to make seven cuts. So seven cuts, four seconds each, would take 28 seconds. Ellery came back home with her term grades. She got all A's but three all B's but 4, and all C's but 5. So, how many A's, B's, and C's did she get? 5. Let's start with A's. They are all but 3. So there are 3 B's and C's together. Which is either 2 C's and 1 B, or 2 B's and 1 C. Let's start with the first option. If it's the case, there are 4 A's and C's. If there are two C's, then she has two A's too. I mean, also. The condition all C's but five tells us that if there's one B, there must also be four A's, not two. So it can't be. If there are two B's and one C, then from all B's but four and one C, there are three A's. From all C's but five and two B, there again must be three A's. So, he has three A's, two B's, and one C. Nice work, Ellery! You are outside a room with three switches in the off position. One of the switches turns on the light bulb in the room. You can turn on as many switches as you want, but you can only walk into the room once. How can you find out which switch turns on the light? Turn two random switches on and wait a couple of minutes. Then turn one of them off and walk into the room. If the light is still on, then the controlling switch is the one you left in the on position. If there's no light, touch the light bulb. If it's hot, then the controlling switch is the one you just turned off. If the light bulb is cold, that switch is the one you didn't turn on. Every Sunday, Mrs. Adams gives her daughter's pocket money. Half of the whole amount goes to the oldest daughter, Stella. The second sister, Ashley, gets half of the amount Stella gets. Eleanor gets one-sixth of the total amount, and the remaining $10 goes to the youngest daughter, Sierra. How much money does Mrs. Adams give away? Seems like Stella gets one half of the money. Ashley gets half of a half, which is one quarter of the original sum, and Eleanor gets one sixth. They're all a fraction of twelves. So Ella gets six twelves, Ashley gets three twelves, and Eleanor gets three twelves. Together, it's eleven twelves, which means that Sierra gets one twelfth, which is ten bucks. So Stella gets sixty dollars, Ashley gets thirty dollars, Eleanor gets twenty dollars, and the whole sum is one hundred twenty dollars. Hey, if I were Sierra, I would complain. Annabeth is going by train to visit her best friend, Brooke. The train is 500 feet long, and it's moving at a speed of 500 feet a minute. And it's now traveling through a 500-foot long tunnel. How long will it take for the train to go through the tunnel? When the train goes into the tunnel, it will take exactly one minute for its head to reappear on the other side. But the rest of the train should get out of there, too. Once the head of the train is out, the back of the train just entered the tunnel, and it'll need another minute to travel through the tunnel. So the train will need two minutes in total. An elf hired a fairy to take care of his garden for a week. As a daily payment, the fairy takes one inch of a candy cane. The elf has a 7-inch candy cane in one piece. 
But the fairy wants to be paid every day because fairies don't trust elves. The elf has a knife that can only make two cuts. How can he manage? He should make two cuts and divide the candy cane into the pieces of 1 7 2 7 and 4 7 The first day, he'll give her the 1 7 piece. The second day, he'll give her the 2 7 piece and will take the 1 7 piece back. After the third day, he will give her the 1 7 piece back. After the fourth day, he gets back the 1 7 piece and 2 7 pieces and gives her 1 4 7 piece instead. Then he gives her 1 7. On the sixth day, instead of 1 7, she gets the 2 7 piece, and on the last day, he gives her the final 1 7 piece. Of course, this whole thing goes kablooey if the fairy eats the candy during the week. <laughs> well, it's the fairy's grandpa's birthday today. She wants to visit him and bring him birthday candy canes. Her grandpa lives in a different town, and there are three gates to cross on the way. At every gate, there is a guard. To cross, the fairy has to pay a fee of half of the candy cane she has. But she gets one candy cane back. What's the minimum number of candy canes the fairy should take from home to make sure she arrives at her grandpa's with two candy canes for him? She should take just two. At every gate, she'll have to give away half, which is one, and she'll be getting that one back. Ooh, tasty!